Creating night scenes in Blender can seem pretty challenging, but it really doesn't have to be. If you're new to Blender or even just want to learn how to do something like this, stick around because I'll be taking you through three easy steps to achieve this. So step one is to find the right HDRI. I like to go to HDRI Haven or PG Skies if you want to pay for one. And you pretty much just want to find a nice free night HDRI. And then the next step once you've downloaded that is to jump into your Blender scene. This is um, Urban Cabin, which is a project that I've done a full course and behind the scenes of. So down here in the world settings, you can see I've got my, um, my node set up here. So if we just start from scratch, basically we, um, we've got our background shader, we bring out the color node, and then we put an environment texture color, and then we're gonna click, and then we're gonna go open, and wherever you saved your HDRI, you're gonna find that. And basically once we've got our HDRI in here, we're gonna go up to edit preferences and we're gonna go into add-ons and we're gonna enable Node Wrangler. And mine's already enabled, you just wanna enable that. And then we're gonna click on our environment shader and we're gonna go Control T. It'll bring up this mapping node and I'll walk you through that shortly. So once we've got our HDRI in here, we can pretty much go to um, Cycles view or um, you can go to Viewport Shading, but I'm gonna go to Cycles. Now, hopefully this will run correctly because um, it's quite a heavy scene, so it might crash, but I just wanna show you um, basically what it will look like from the get-go. All right, so you can see it's now rendering with cycles. Um, you can have a quick look at my settings here. I'm just rendering with my CPU um, and I'm just denoising with my open image denoise because I'm using an Intel CPU. And yeah, that's pretty much the base settings there. I've got my um, HDRI in here. I'll leave a link to where you can find this, by the way, um, in the description. And this is basically what the scene looks like. You might need to adjust your exposure settings um, once you have a look at your HDRI. You can see mine's on one. If it was on zero, it would be pretty dark. But when we adjust our exposure, we wanna have a nice ambient light over everything that's not too bright, but it's kind of um, just showing a little bit of detail and the next stage is we're going to add our interior and exterior lights and then we're just going to tone those and warm them and brighten them just to get a nice balance with the natural ambient light so stay tuned for the next episode for this and also check out my instagram at oliver higgins architecture if you want to see the kind of work i do as a professional also i've got a discord there's a link in the description if you want to post any of your work you can get feedback from me and the community and it's just a really great place to learn and grow as a arcviz artist so i'll see you guys next week cheers